Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to Celtic Fans TV. It is full-time reaction to Celtic 5. Morton now I've got Scott here with me to go over the game. Scott, probably as many people expected before the game, uh, a resounding victory. Would you make it? Brilliant. Really good to watch. First half was scintillating stuff. And do you know what I was actually quite impressed by? The park didn't really seem to hold his back as much as I thought it would have because it's no it's not great Nick, is it? at all. Really, really. In fact, did we not get, this is what I want to ask you, did we not get a half plastic, half grass park? Aye, when Rogers, Rogers was here, aye. And you don't think that's there It's anymore? not supposed to do that, I don't think. I don't right. know if they've changed it, but right. it's not great, Nick. It's not great, Nick. Um, so I thought that would maybe hold the play up a wee bit, but it didn't. Um, really good stuff. You need to remember who you're playing against, obviously. But it was um, brilliant to watch. I thought Moy absolutely bossed it. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> bossed it. A few changes as well. Abada, I thought, he's so direct. And he'd been my team every single week. No first name of team sheet. I was going to say first name of team sheet. <laughs> That's a bit of an exaggeration, but he's phenomenal. Who, who's, he, who's he in ahead of? He's in ahead of Joe Hart, I would say. Swap <laughs> Joe Hart. <out. laughs> no, I would say um, maybe Maeda. Right. Right? I love Maeda. He's so direct as well, but I just think Abad is slightly different and he's so good in tight spaces. He gets in the box easy mm. and he makes things happen, I think. More more so than Maeda, even though he's became a goal for it. Yeah. Uh, one thing I need to say for Morton, by the way, what a turn it. That's that's I a better believe that. that's a better turn it than we'll get for almost every could not uh, Premiership side this season. So fair play to them, they did well. Um, on the pitch, though, I thought Ange made some really sensible decisions today because he started a really strong team, and then at half time he brings off McGregor and Kyogo, who are the two main men. We obviously can't afford to lose Kyogo just just now because of the situation up front. And we've already, already lost McGregor this season, so um, a wise decision to bring them off at half-time with the game one. It was because Callum McGregor plays almost every minute that he could possibly play, so it's a good game to rest him. We're 4-0 up. Kyogo as well. I don't particularly think he's probably desperate for a rest um, no. because he doesn't have to exert himself anywhere near as much as some that Callum McGregor does in a game. But it's good to just make sure that we don't pick up any injuries. Um, I thought that maybe the play did dial back slightly in the second half. Maybe because there was a couple of key changes made. But we still kept the ball and they never really looked like scoring, apart from the first couple of minutes, actually. Mm. They, they had a good chance. And then the second one, actually, with the boy took it at the back post. And if he took a good touch, it's mm. probably a goal. But um, aye, quite a sure performance, even though the, the second half changes were pretty, pretty heavy. Aye, I'd talk about Kyogo, no desperate for a rest. He's desperate for a hat trick. Every time he gets two goals, the manager hooks him off. <laughs> um, no, but I thought he was really, really good today. Uh, two excellent finishes. He's the first one, uh, by the way, F.A. Ambrose. M maybe his best game for Celtic today. Probably. Uh, um, he's not changed much. Handball for the penalty. <laughs> gives the ball away for Kyogo's first goal. Lovely wee dink over the keeper. Second one smashes it into the top corner. Um, I just thought he was he was really, really good in that first half. Who? Kyogo. Oh, Kyogo. Aye, brilliant. Um, movement was phenomenal. And you know those runs in behind that he's always playing on the shoulder waiting for? He seemed to be trying to make them more often than mm. not now. Um, see when Iwata came on? What did you think of him? I almost couldn't tell. Was, I was going to say he was tidy, night. but he didn't have much to do. The second half was a pure non-event. There was not a lot of notable stuff. Nothing that there was not negative that I thought that doesn't maybe doesn't look too great. But aye, there was nothing really notable. Mm -hmm. um, I just thought maybe you'd picked up something different for me. But aye, Kyogo, brilliant, phenomenal player, and I'm glad that he's starting to put the chances away mm -hmm. because there was a time where he'd maybe need to get five for him to score one or two. But now it's almost like a two for three, two for four. So his ratio's getting better. Aye, he's he's in great form just now. And as you say, you back a couple of months, people are saying, oh, he's he's missing so many chances. Now he looks a bit more ruthless. He's definitely found form. He's scoring in just about every game. Um, as I say, a couple of braces recently, and absolutely brilliant form. Um, I thought Alistair Johnson uh, was good again today. Yeah, he's um, solid. Aaron Moy as well. A lot of great performances across the pitch. David Turnbull. Gets another goal as he did during the week, and that was a lovely finish. We set back for Kyogo, he just curled it. Unbelievable. Honestly, it was almost horizontal when he hit that, wasn't he? <laughs> he just strokes that. Um, brilliant, no, phenomenal. I, I thought he was good as well. He's, see, when he's on the ball, he's always trying to kind of turn. When he receives the ball, he's usually under pressure. Mm. He's so good under pressure, something to Moy. Like, see, when he gets the ball, he almost wants somebody to come into him, take a bit of pressure, roll the guy, and mm. then. I just love that um, and you need that because there's sometimes one or two players on you at the likes of your number 10 so i um, happy with both of them Would you make a Kobayashi debut the other night played again today Kind of similar to Iwata where I, I don't really don't have any yet. notable yeah. memories of what he's done wrong or what he's done right um, I maybe he's gave the ball away once or twice in the past couple of games but nothing more than you'd maybe expect for like somebody who's just come into the team 
Um, seems tidy, seems relatively strong. A couple of headers that I thought maybe were a wee bit too far out of his um, range and he ends up winning them. Mm. So I, I can't say anything negative about him. Mm. Um, I mean, remember Moy, when he came in, nobody was really happy. He seemed off the pace a wee bit, a wee bit slow. The game was passing him by sometimes and look at him now. So I just think it's going to take these players a wee bit of time to get yeah. up to speed. But nothing negative that I can say at all. Talk about Aaron Moy there, excellent, wasn't he? Absolutely brilliant. Um, maybe hard done and not to be man in the match. Kyogo got it. Uh, despite only playing the first half, but he just plays these games with his slippers on, doesn't he? He's top class. He's so strong as well, right? He's like a... All right, he's maybe no mobile, but he totally makes up for that and understanding where to be in the park and understanding what's going to happen. See, when um, when he's anywhere near like, a second ball, you know he's going to win it. Um, he just waits for what I noticed is when we didn't have the ball or there was a clearance. Any Morton player who's about to take a touch, he's waiting right on the shoulder. Mm to nick it off him he's just so smart such a smart player and it's interesting to see a player like that you wouldn't expect to be scoring a lot of goals he's going to replace Juranovic now for penalty taker which is good because he had missed a couple Juranovic missed two or one aye or two. aye with well, the problems with penalties Yakimakis yeah. as well but the only problem with Moy taking them is in the really big games is Moy going to be starting probably not possibly not what, for Hatati O'Reilly O'Reilly it's between him and O'Reilly I think I know. just now and Moy's the form player right now, mm. um, but O'Reilly is just full of class as well. So it's just great problems to have. That's great problems to have. Um, who would you go with man of the match? Moy? I'd say Moy. Yeah. Uh, no brainer. Uh, people like giving it to Kyogo because everybody just loves Kyogo, but I just think Moy was so much more involved and probably just more influential in the game. Aye, Kyogo's my man of the match every week, but um, I'll get to Moy today because he, he played longer, got two goals, Eddie go. That's it for Full Time Reaction to Celtic 5, Morton. Now, like this video, comment your own thoughts in the game below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you during the week. Cheers.